Hi there, welcome back to Let's Talk by George. In today's video, we are going to do the latest review for Rise Droid. Yes, that is right, we have received an official update for the Rise Droid. First of all, the quick settings, it looks stock. Now coming to the launcher, the launcher is something that we are actually familiar with the within the Evolution X and uh, the first and all. So you can expect the same kind of customization in the launcher. Now coming back, uh, the app is actually having the AOSP dialer which is having the Oxygen UI. So something similar to the Octavi dialer and all. So basically it is having the um, messaging app and uh, uh, for app similar to the Octavi OS. Um, now I'm actually using the uh, core version of the ROM where the um, where the ROM is actually having Google Play Store and Google Keyboard. Apart from that, everything is uh, everything looks like vanilla. Everything is vanilla. So uh, the banking applications are working fine. I, I have installed the Google Pay and it is working flawlessly. Now coming to the Play Store, the Play Store is actually certified. So there isn't any issue with the Play Store certification. Now coming to the settings page, you can modify the settings page into different sort of layouts and stuff like that. Going to the about font section, let us try to look at the uh, rice, droid, uh, rice droid information or system information. Um, so the Android version is 13. Uh, the security update is of 5th of January and the kernel that I have changed the kernel to the spicy version which Hani has recommended in our um, in our uh, telegram group. So basically try to use that kernel if you are actually facing some kind of lag or something like that. The spicy Anya version. Going back, um, personalization is where you can find the customization options. And there are a lot of customization. I mean, most of the customization, they are similar to what we have, we, we used to have with the Rice Druid. So I haven't actually found uh, any, any new customizations, but uh, it is actually something similar to, or it is actually the same, uh, same that we used to get in, uh, get in the previous updates, like Scarlet System Manager, Boost and stuff like that. Then, uh, um, notification you will have the reticker option but uh, there was actually some kind of uh, uh, new reticker user interface um, something which we were actually familiar with in uh, project blaze and all that is actually disappeared from the reticker customization navigation uh, quick settings so you can arrange the quick settings into different columns and uh, stuff like that then uh, coming to the sound um, status bar you can um, you can customize the clock for uh, status bar like enable the background chip and all then um, you can choose to have uh, different uh, logo styles for the status bar then battery style you get a lot of uh, customization for the battery style for the status bar and the final thing is user interface where you have uh, ambient display and uh, monad settings theme engine so basically there is actually a new addition of uh, you can select a custom clock font styles uh, then font styles for the system it has new user interface to select it quick settings panel customization like uh, panel styles and all then signal icon styles you can customize the about font style and you can customize the settings style into different user interfaces. So um, pretty much the ROM is actually having all the customization which were actually similar to what we used to get from Rice Droid. Now the battery page looks also quite different and it is having this kind of green color bar uh, displaying the battery uh, available battery percentage and all. So pretty much the ROM in my experience is is quite smooth uh, many thanks to ian and our friend uh, um, for for comparing the rom for our device and making the rom uh, pretty stable and smooth and efficient for our devices once again i would like to thank you for uh, watching my rom review video please make sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates thank you